In this video, we're going to be showing you how to add videos to your OBS live stream. So stick around. Hey everyone, I'm Ryan Scott and welcome back to Church Setup Videos. Um, I'm doing a series of tutorial videos on OBS and one of the other things that people ask all the time is how do I add videos? to uh, my OBS live stream. So if I have a video file that I wanna play, maybe it's a, a trailer of a sermon, maybe it's a video file, you know, like a announcement, a video announcement, or maybe the preacher wants to play a video, maybe a missionary has come to town and, <clears throat> and they wanna play a video. Having the video inside of OBS is an easy way to get it out to the stream. Like before, same with images. If you have ProPresenter and you're bringing that in through an NDI source, uh, most of the time if you have the video file playing in there, it will play seamlessly. You can just cut to the to the NDI source in OBS. But if you want to add the, the video file straight to your OBS live streaming, it's really easy to do. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. Some different things that you can do with video in OBS to kind of upgrade your stream. So I'm going to take you over to OBS and we're going to just dive into this right away. So here we are in OBS and um, like before we have our scenes, our sources, our audio files and all of our stuff over here. You can see I am actually recording this in OBS, um, but we want to add some video files that are going to just look nice. So um, over here in our scenes, the first thing I'm going to do is just add a basic video file so you can see how it's done. Just the easiest way to do it is to create a new scene. I'm going to call this video. I'm going to add a source to that scene, which is a media source. It's got a little play button right here. Media source. I'm going to call this video one and click OK. And then just like images, I'm going to browse and I'm going to find the video file that I want to play. Let me uh, check out my uh, my hard drive here. I'm going to come down here to my other hard drive and here I've got, I've got some of my church setup videos. So I'm just going to add this. What do you need to, to live stream? Um, I'm going to say restart playback. Now this is a, this is an important thing about restarting playback. If you want the video to just loop all the time and then whenever you, you cut to it in the stream for it to be in the middle of, of, whatever it's at in the loop, you don't want this. However, if it's important for the video when it goes live to play from the very beginning, you're gonna want to make sure that that's active. And since we want to start this video um, and play it from the very beginning when it starts going to the stream, I'm gonna put that there. And I always uncheck this, uh, which I will show you why here in a second. So show nothing when playback ends, I never select that. And here's why after I add the source. So the video's in there now, and you can see we've got the layer here. Um, the problem is, is that it's not showing, right? It just looks like a black screen. So if you're not expecting it, it can often look like you did something wrong. But once you transition in, all the things you need you to see, create now a really you can great see the live video. streaming setup for your church. Um, We're gonna talk about that today. Here. That's not me talking. You can see Thank the video playing. Here. Let's get but into it. It's not actually the, the right size. So uh, whenever you're adding videos, you want to make sure you uncheck that one option so that it doesn't go back to black here, but it actually keeps showing. So that option is show nothing. If I check that, when I transition away from it, it's just gonna be a black screen again. But since I can see it now, I can actually resize this video to the right size. And now when I transition in, it's going to play things you full need to screen. create a really great live streaming setup for your church. And We're when talk I transition out of it, it's going to come back and I'm going to be able to see it again in the preview. So that's the video file. This is my face <laughs> and this is the video file, right? So um, that's, that's how you add like a full screen video and um, very easy to do. But there's other things that you can do with video as well. So when we were talking about adding images to OBS, uh, one of the things that we talked about was the transparent images. So you put a transparent image on top of your video source and you can do like a lower third like this. This is just a static image. However, you can also do a lot of interesting things. I'm going to try to find these files over here real quick. You can do a lot of interesting things by adding transparent videos on top of OBS. This is one of the things that I really liked about OBS over like vMix is that it was really easy to add transparent video on top. In vMix, 
adding an overlay there's some limitations they limit you on the number of overlays when you try to do a transparent video on top um, there it was just really difficult in some situations but with OBS it's really easy so I'm gonna hide this and I'm gonna add if if I want um, a transparent video to show up over my video file I'm gonna click this plus button here and I'm gonna click media source so I'm adding a source to this scene and I'm gonna call this um, Facebook promo you're gonna see why in a second so I'm gonna browse and I'm just going to pull this file in Facebook phone and um, I want it to loop I don't want it to restart wait I do want it to restart I don't want to show nothing when playback ends and I'm gonna click OK so when it's in there the first time it's in there it's not gonna show but I'm gonna transition here and you're gonna see this transparent video show and play on top of my camera feed So you can see it's a, it's a video file now, and that's one of the reasons why uh, I don't like to check it because it needs to be resized so that, and I'm actually gonna make it smaller than it, than it normally looks. Now, when I, when I go back to this scene, you're gonna, you're actually, I'm not gonna play the, the big transition, I'm just gonna cut right to it. And you can add these on top of whatever footage you have if you want to advertise your for church Facebook, for example. That is just a transparent video, same as a transparent image, um, and it's looping. That's a transparent video that you can play on your stream just by laying it on top. Um, and it's a it's an interesting file size. If uh, if you save it like as a an MOV or MP4 or something like that, the file sizes will be larger. There's a whole thing on this. Whoever's making these videos for you should be able to save them in WebM format. Um, but I've got I've got that one. I can I can add another one here. Um, let me go back to the face camera. Um, actually, I'm going to show you me do this in OBS. So I'm going to transition to OBS, and uh, I'm going to add another one here. So I've got another media source, and I'm going to call this one Instagram Promo, and I'm going to find that Instagram. There we go. And I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna let this one loop and I'm not going to let that. So I'm gonna click okay. And then I'm gonna transition over and come straight back so that now I can see it. I'm gonna move it down here, make it a little bit bigger so that it matches that one. Now, if I cut to it, you're gonna see both Instagram and Facebook, um, which they're flipped on purpose so I don't have the same thing on both sides but those are just transparent videos and there's there's all kinds of things that you can do with video like that now where we got these are just templates these Facebook and Instagram things are just templates that we got from videohive.net you can go to videohive.net and they've got an Adobe After Effects and Apple Motion and things like that templates that you can download and make these and customize them and then add them right into your stream so that's kind of the two biggest ways that I use video. Um, I do video lower thirds, so um, it's a transparent video file. Again, you can get templates like that from videohive.net. And um, I do full screen videos, which are just um, video files that you put in, you transition. What are all the things you need to create a really great live streaming set of your church? Playing. We're going to so talk about if that. you have like a um, church announcement that's on video or a sermon trailer or something that you want to play full screen for your um, audience you just add it as a video file and let it go full screen and transition in and it plays um, one final thing with the video though as we go over to OBS here's one thing that you might want to keep in mind and that is if you are playing a video um, when it plays it's going to have an audio source down here. So when this starts playing, um, it's not going to show right now, but when it starts playing, there's going to be an OBS or a video file thing down here as far as the audio that's playing. Um, and it's not going to show. I can't, I can't show it without actually transitioning to the scene. Um, let me see if I cut over. Yeah, it goes away. So let me unhide all here and it's still not going to show. So um, basically what I'm trying to say is 
when you um, transition to this scene, it's gonna add another audio source here under your audio mixer. And there's a couple of things you might want to pay attention to. If you click the gear um, and click pro or advanced properties, if you want to hear the audio in your in your monitor, um, if you're monitoring the audio of your stream, you'll wanna switch this to monitor and output. Otherwise, when you play the video to whoever's running the stream at the computer, it's going to be like um, it's going to be like they didn't that they don't have any audio with the video. So if you switch that to, to monitor and output, it's going to go out to the stream and you're going to be able to hear it from whatever speakers you have set up on your streaming computer. Usually that's headphones, right? Um, if you only have it to output, it will play to the stream but it won't, it won't send audio out to your computer. So it's just something to keep in mind. Sometimes I've seen people add a video and it's playing and the audio is going out to the stream, but because they don't have it set to monitor and output, their monitor has no audio. And so they, they start to panic a little bit like, oh my goodness, is, is there no audio to this? And uh, as a fail safe, if you can't hear anything, if you look down at the bottom and you can see these, um, these things going and it's not, muted like that or it's not turned all the way down um, you're probably pretty good uh, with the audio that's actually going out to the stream another way to monitor that is just to listen open up a uh, browser and um, go to your youtube or facebook and listen through there so that you can actually hear what everybody else is hearing um, but that's that's just something to keep in mind if you're adding um, videos to your stream Hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, you can send those to support at churchsetup.com. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, hopefully we'll see you on the next video. Have a good one.